check it out. Listen, if you guys are looking for like a super easy, over the top and delicious, you know, recipe, especially for this Sunday, this is just a beef noodle casserole. Let's get it. Check this out. Don't forget, the full ingredient list will be down in the description box below. Now, let me just say this. Now will be a great time for you guys to go ahead and preheat your oven to 400 degrees, which I got mine. It's getting ready to come up to temp. This right here is like a super easy, and when I say super easy recipe, it really is. It's just the way we are gonna season, we are gonna bring out the flavors and we finna get it. I'm gonna put a little olive oil in here. You guys, this is the infused olive oil. This right here is a lean beef, right? So we'll just go ahead and put it in. If you guys don't have one of these, you gotta get yourself one. Anytime you're using anything non-stick or something like that, you wanna use this, cause this won't tear up your, let me just say it this way. This won't tear up the Teflon or whatever they use to make it non-stick and you won't ingest it, right? So I'm just gonna, just to get most of it, I just wanna get a surface on here. And the reason I wanna get a surface, you know, I wanna get that contact on it, right? Cause I wanna form like a little crust. You can see how it's still not cooking up here at the top. That's fine because we got to cook it down a little further, right? So I'm gonna say after about four to five minutes, then you want to go ahead and add your onions. This is just a lot of onion. You know what I mean? Uh, I like onion. So now I'll just take this and just start mixing this in. Real easy. You can see I'm starting to build layers, right? So look, we got some cool meat, right? We haven't put no seasoning in here yet. Now I'm gonna do one thing that, I, that you guys don't normally see. You know, when I, when I give a recipe, and that's this right here. Look, this is my all purpose right here, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just add a tablespoon of this right here just to give it a little, pe a nice little kick, right? That's just one tablespoon of that. And you know what? This is getting ready to come out, you guys. So I just started to say, I better just start letting you guys know about it right now. These be my little level ups when people come and say, man, seem like your food be way over the top. You know what I mean? It's just little small things that I do. I'm gonna go ahead and get my press, take my garlic, Put your smile on my face. Check it out. Look at that. Nothing like fresh garlic, folks. And with my seasoning, man, the aromatic that's coming off of this right now. You know what? I'm going to take this time now to talk to you guys about like the noodle. Uh, noodles, right? I've already made them. You know, I just parboil them, get them ready. I'm going to show them to you right now. I just got them sitting over here in my colander. So take a look right here. Here you go. This right here, this is already done. When I tell you this is like an easy recipe to do, this right here, do it for you folks. Okay, then we just add our Italian seasoning, all right? Then we just want to mix this up. You just want to mix it thoroughly. And then once your onions are like soft, like these are right here, then you just go ahead and just start adding everything else. Then we just want to incorporate Okay, so once you got everything incorporated, you let it cook for a couple of minutes, you know what I mean? Look, the first thing you wanna do is you just wanna taste it, right? So get yourself a spoon, right? Let me go ahead and blow it. I can tell you it just need maybe just a little, maybe just two pinches of salt, and then we're gonna add some black pepper. Don't forget folks, this is the secret to making, you know, good food, you know, from the gate. Instead of you having to give everybody something at the end, you just make it nice where it tastes good. You give them a true base and let them go from there. Okay, so look, I went ahead and just turned the fire off, right? You can see the steam coming off of it. It's nice and ready, nice and hot, right? So now you want to get yourself some nonstick uh, spray. This is my casserole dish, so I'm just going to... We don't want nothing to stick here, right? Now listen, if you made this like in a pot, it would have been cool to make it in a pot, then you can mix everything there. But I'm gonna go ahead and mix, you know, my noodles and everything, and along with my, you know, my beef solution, we're gonna do all of that inside of here, right? So, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add this. I'm gonna go ahead and just start mixing here. You can just see it coming together, right? So look, there's some level ups you can do right here. If you guys want to, you can have some frozen peas. For those of you guys want to put that potatoes in, put the potatoes in, you can add them also. Okay, and then the last thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna top it with a little cheese on the top. So check it out. This right here makes it a little bit on the cheesy side. Listen, you want to serve this while it's hot, right? Cause just imagine how that cheese is gonna be. Put this in a bowl and then we finna eat folks. Okay, so once you're done there, we already preheated to 400 degrees. I'm gonna put this in the oven. Look, for 10 to 15 minutes. I'm gonna look at it at 10 minutes. 
and decide if I want to go any further, right? Okay, so looking at it, this is after, about, I'm going to say about 11 minutes. My timer went off at 10. I was just like moving real slow, but I want you guys to take a look at this right here. Hey, you tell me what you think right there. Boom. Just by looking at the visual, you got to have, your brain got to be sending you some type of signal, right? Now, listen, I could have mixed this all together, you know what I mean? But when you're using that real cheese, you know what I mean? It kind of like just... I can't explain it, but it gives a little bit of hard, right? So this is that real cheese. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put some of this in here like this. And listen, I am starving, folks. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice right now, but I don't feel the best, you know? So look, something nice and hot like this right here is gonna do it for me. And check it out, folks, it's time to eat. Cheers, y'all. I'm gonna say it like this. I'm gonna go ahead and dig in. Probably gonna knock this all off before I come back. So, hold on. Now, I don't want you guys to think that I was joking. Look at that right there. Man, I feel so much better. I just needed to eat. Hey, and on top of that, it's it's like super good. You know what I mean? So listen, I'm not gonna over talk it. You guys looking, you know, you come to my channel, listen, get yourself some ideas. And if you don't know how to make this, you know, watch the video. Watch it in its entirety. You know, I mean, don't forget to smash that like button and to subscribe. And I want you guys to tell everybody out there, right? Listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, folks, I'm not finna over talk it. Guess what? I'm out. Peace.